I decided to go to the thrift store today and I got a lot of really cute stuff so I'm excited to show you guys everything I got. I was on the hunt for sweaters, I'm trying to stock up for fall and winter and yeah let's just get into the haul. So first I'm going to show you guys two things that I actually got online. I went on to Goodwill's auction website, it's um, I think shopgoodwill.com and I bought two bags in course with auctioning you have to bid and stuff and I won the auctions on these two bags and the only reason I decided to buy them was because I was able to look up comps because they had like the um they had pictures of like the um is it the serial number whatever number you use to like look up the bag um at least this one I was able to do that the other one I actually used um Google Lens. So I took a screenshot of the bag and then ran it through there and I was able to find the exact bag. But therefore, anyways, I was able to look up comps and um, I paid about $20 per bag, including shipping, which obviously is quite a bit for reselling. Both of these bags were selling anywhere from $80 to over $100, depending. So I'm pretty confident that I'm going to triple my money on both of these bags but this one is by coach i can't remember what the style name of this bag was but has like this little like chain thingy right here and i'll show you guys the coach emblem thing there is some dirt on the inside of the bag but it's not terrible but usually I don't really I don't really pick up coach stuff unless it's like the vintage bags but with this bag being so like large and stuff I was like you know what I'm gonna look this up and see if it would be worth anything and yeah it is so there is a little bit of wear on the handle I don't know if you guys can see it but there is that wear so I'll just note that. Very excited about this. It's like a like a purpley mauve color. So this one is by Michael Kors. This is the one where I ran it through um, Google Lens. And it has like the little Michael Kors chain. It has this uh, shorter handle. And then it also has the longer adjustable one. And this bag, I believe, was selling for more than the... Um, the coach bag and it did come with a certificate of authenticity um not sure if i should include that in my listing i mean it would be good to tell the customer that it's been authenticated i just with it having like goodwill and stuff on it i don't know if i should include that but yeah this bag is gorgeous and both of these bags are leather just, yeah, very excited. So I spent $50.48 on 12 items. So the first thing is this belt. I spent $3 on it. It's by uh, Justin Boots and it just has like these nice silver embellishments. It's just a black leather belt, um, size 34. And then it has like this metal detail on the end too. And then I got one bag. This one has a little bit of wear. Um, like the edges have just some like fabric fraying and stuff. You can kind of see it like in the, the light. But it's just like this really cute... Would this be considered a saddle bag? Just like a small leather one. It's crossbody. But um, it's by Lucky Brand has like these little charm things. I paid $6 for it, so hopefully it was worth the money. It is genuine leather, so I feel like it's really nice. I don't know, I've never sold Lucky Brand bags before, but yeah, it's just so cute. I did get one pair of shoes. These are Cole Haan. I paid $6 for these, these are a size nine, but these are like the pinch Cole Haans, which I believe these are worth a lot more money. Um, I don't know if that's just a collaboration or if that's just a specific line of Cole Haan. I can't remember, but I remember seeing like the pinch Cole Haan and someone saying that it's like a something to look out for, but that was also forever ago. So I don't know how these are gonna do, but these 
our genuine leather, just some like maroon moccasin loafer type shoes. These two items I almost put back. I was kind of on the fence, but I was like, you know what? I'll just get them. This is a cabby linen striped short sleeve button down shirt. Um, the only reason I was on the fence about it was just because I was already getting quite a few other things and I was like, well, if anything, I'll put this back, but I got it anyway. It's a size small, but I love the fact that this is linen, so it's a really nice material. Paid $4 for this. And then this is J. Crew. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to get the style of shirt, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's like this champagne color. It has like these little um, bell sleeves. And it's, it's funny because I literally watched um, a video today by um, Hope from Racks to Riches. She picked up this exact shirt in silver. <laughs> So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why I ended up getting it. I have no idea. Size medium. I definitely was, I was kind of hesitant about this one just because I mostly wanted sweaters, but it's okay. Um, yeah, paid $4 for this. And then this, I couldn't resist. This is such a like cottage core vibe shirt. I believe it's just H&M. Uh, yeah, this is a, just H&M, size medium. And it has like this really small floral print with this smocked like top to it. And it's like a open, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if that's cropped or not. Not sure. But regardless, has big puff balloon sleeves. This is just, I feel like this is going to sell like as soon as I list it. So I need to get, get it listed ASAP, but I paid $4 for this. Yeah absolutely adorable not sure what it's gonna sell for with it being h&m but i'll look up uh similar styles see if i can figure it out this i believe is vintage yes so it's um it says it's our time fashion avenue knits size medium this is what the tag looks like it's this big like embroidered tag but this is just a knit turtleneck sweater and it i'm not sure what this is made out of actually so it's 100 percent acrylic but yeah i just i feel like this is such a nice like piece to pick up right now this was four dollars this is really cool i have no idea how to date this this is vintage um it has the remnants of a union tag in it i know you can date it based off of the union tag but it was cut out so i don't know but it's this zip front shirt and it has like this circular zipper it has like the polka dots it has like these little ties at the bottom i have no idea and i don't know what size this is going to be so i'm going to have to measure it but i just thought this was really cool i paid four dollars for it i figured it'd be worth trying to do some research. So these I picked up because they're super distressed, but these are a pair of men's distressed American Eagle skinny jeans, and they have like this really fun wash on them. These are a size 32, 36. This, um, I just like the graphic on it. It's by Jerseys, it's just a San Diego sweatshirt. I feel like this would be fun for a bleaching project. Not sure if I'll go through with it, but I paid $4 for this. This I was kind of on the fence about, but I figured it was only $2 because they marked it as kids. But it's a Carhartt t-shirt. It's a size large, so maybe it, maybe it is kids. Oh well, no. I feel like this is like a women's size large. But they thought it was kids. And this is really cool. It has like nordic sweater vibes so it has like these clasps clasps down the front i can't talk and it feels like wool by chris christiana sweaters and it says size 8 slash 10 and yeah it's just this really nice nordic style cardigan it is pure new wool so yeah definitely nice wool 
paid four dollars for it that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a little bit shorter but that's okay i'm definitely happy with everything i got and i'm excited to get everything listed if you did enjoy make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye